you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are those of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. All right, all right, everybody ready? For what? The evening rush. <laughs> That's a laugh. What do you mean? It's that time of day. Truckers, moms, and dads, everybody gets hungry. They have to eat before they get to Vegas, don't they? Fix your hair and get your uniform on straight. Nobody's been in here for two hours. And that was for a donut and a cup of coffee. We'll be lucky if anybody stops between now and closing. You've got some attitude, Kitty. Right, well, do something. I mean, fill the napkin holders, get setups on all the tables. Look at this salt shaker. It's half empty. You never give up, do you, Ace? Give up, you kidding? The Happy Days Diner's my livelihood, yours too. And don't forget it, all a question of attitude. You gotta think positive. How's that floor coming, Jimbo? There wasn't too much to sweep. Third time I've done it today. Good, good. People like a nice, clean place. I found one french fry and a matchstick by the payphone. You know, Ace... Maybe you ought to ease up, sit down, take a load off. Ease up? We got to be ready for them when they start coming in. Well, I don't know if anybody is coming in. What are you talking about? He's right, Ace. The truckers like to stop at Big Jim's now. And the families, they all go to that chain restaurant by the state line. We'll get them back, you'll see. All we need's a new sign. Some specials on the window. You know how to write with a paintbrush, Jimbo. Big letters they can read from the highway. I guess so. Then you can start on it in the morning. Till then, keep your attitude up. That's what makes the difference. Positive thinking. Get a nice, clear picture in your mind. A big rig's on his way here now. He knows he can't make it without stopping. He sees us, pulls off. He's got a wad of cash big as a hole in his stomach. Give me a quarter. Oh, no, Ace. Come on, come on, come on. It's my lucky day. You keep doing that, the whole cash drawer will be in that slot machine. That's the point. It's never paid off, has it? Not one jackpot. That means the odds are in my favor. Now, Kitty. Make this one count. Sure, sure. Now we're getting serious. <clears throat> okay, listen to me, machine. This is your old buddy Ace talking to you. We've been together a long time, you and me, and I've been real good to you, haven't I? Dusting you off, keeping you all shiny, getting the customers to feed you their change. I gave you everything you wanted, right? Now it's time to show a little gratitude. You talk to that slot machine like it's got a brain. Oh, it does, it does. A memory at least. And the time's come to pay off. Cherry. Cherry! And a prune. Well, at least I doubled my money. Take my advice. Hold on to him. That's a hundred percent profit. Nah, nah. I'm just getting her warmed up. Okay, sweetheart, you had your fun. I'm warning you for the last time. Pay up or get out. Ace? Don't bother me. Ace? I think we've got a customer. Yeah? a big rig, just like I said, see? You were thinking of it, weren't you, Jimbo? Like I told you to. Oh, I don't know, Ace. I might have been... Sure you were. Mind over matter. That's the ticket. It's all in the concentration. Well, what are you waiting for? Go in the kitchen, put the soup on, heat up the grill. We got ourselves a live one. A study in the art of concentration. They say a picture is worth a great many words, especially a mental picture. Perhaps that's what just happened, or perhaps it was a coincidence. One way or the other, our cast of characters will soon find out. Meet Mr. Ace Larson, owner of the Happy Days Diner on Route 15 on the way to Las Vegas, Nevada. He's a sawed-off runt of a man with equal measures of pugnacity and charm. His waitress, Kitty Cavanaugh, Almost beautiful, but not quite. Who's patient and loyal to a fault. And Jimbo Cobb, fry cook and right-hand man in the quest for the American dream. 
Whether that quest will become a reality depends on a bit more than luck, because this particular highway leads directly through the Twilight Zone. And now, The Twilight Zone and our story, The Prime Mover, starring David Eigenberg with Stacy Keach as your narrator. <sighs> well, that's better. Enjoy your meal? Yeah, it's great. Here's the check. Feel pretty good, huh? Well, I do now. So do I. Kitty, give me a quarter. Oh, Ace. Come on, come on. Are you going to play that one-armed bandit? Oh, yeah. She's ready to pay off. I can feel it. <laughs> That'll be the day. One lemon and two prunes. <laughs> See, you know, what did I tell you? You got to watch yourself with those things. You take it too serious, you'll blow a gasket. Huh? Very funny. Uh, here's for the food. You keep the change. What? Thank you. Wait a second. Yeah? Flip your double or nothing for the meal. <laughs> you sure like getting kicked around, don't you? Huh? Never mind what I like. Double or nothing, what do you say? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Quiet, Kitty. Is it a deal? Okay. All right. Got a quarter? Yeah, I think so. Look, Ace, do you always have to... Listen to her, Ace. Don't you think we Come ought on, to... come on. A guy can't keep losing forever. Here we go. Call it. Heads. Heads it is. Thanks, buddy. I don't believe it. No sale. You come back now. I sure will. Uh, seeing as how that's my lucky quarter, I guess I better hold on to it. Go ahead. And uh, while I'm at it, might as well give Lady Luck a whirl. Oh, hand me a paper bag, will you, sweetie? I'll take him to go. Sure. I don't believe it. What's the matter? Would you mind hurrying up? Sure, sure. Oh, hey, I got a tip for you. Yeah? You gonna give me a cut? How much you figure? No, lay off the gambling. Nothing good ever came of it. You have a nice day now. It ain't fair, Jimbo. It just ain't fair. Oh, don't take it so hard. That's easy for you to say. Maybe your luck will change. Yeah. Maybe I'll get electrocuted or something. Night, boys. Where are you going? Home and to bed. Any objections? Nah, honey. I wouldn't blame you if you quit. I can't. You owe me three months' salary. So long, you big-time operators. Be careful going home now. Will do. Gee, what a nice girl, huh? Yeah. Too nice. Ace, how come you and Kitty don't get married? On what? With what? I got a little saved up. You could use that. A little ain't enough, Jimbo. A chick like Kitty deserves the best. And the best comes high. Well, we could fix up the back room, make it real nice, just for now. Oh, then where would you sleep? Don't worry about me. I could take care of myself. Sure you can. They better slow down out there. Darn fools, they must be going 90. What in the... Jimbo, we gotta do something, quick! They hit the pole. The power lines are down. Let's get him out of there. Can't. It's going to catch fire. Stay back or we'll get burned up with him. <laughs> Car's upside down, Jimbo. There's people in there. We just can't leave them. Quiet. Go inside. Call for help. No use. They knocked the telephone pole over. Well, don't just stand there. Think of something. That's what I'm trying to do. Quiet, please, Ace, if you don't mind. 
What's happening? Am I seeing things? It's turning over. How? Just a little farther. You're right side up now. Come on out. The door open. Just stay clear of those wires. Can you walk, honey? I think so. Come on. Take my hand. Hurry up! Get clear! They're gonna make it. Taking him to the hospital. That's good. They're gonna be okay, the doc says. A few broken bones, nothing too serious. Thanks to you. Oh, what are you talking about? Jimbo. Yeah? How'd you do it? Do what? You know. That business with the car? Lifting it up and turning it over? Without even touching it? Even with the sparks and all, from 30 feet away? How, Jimbo? Oh, come on, Ace. Look, let's forget about it. I can't forget about a miracle, not when I've seen it with my own eyes. Ace. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you want to keep secrets from me, I mean, that's your business. I'm, I'm just going to turn in early anyway. I mean, just don't snore tonight. It's tight quarters back here, and... to you I can't exactly explain it Ace but you see I guess you might say it's a power I got what kind of power well it seems like I can move things around just by thinking what oh I know it sounds stupid but it's true I don't know how come I can that's all since when? Since always. You never told me about it. I never thought it was anything special. What? Nothing special? I thought everybody could do it. You know, like breathing. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, I guess you were. How come I never seen you do it before? Oh, I had to give it up. Why? Well, you know. No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? It got me in a lot of trouble at school. Besides, I started getting these real bad headaches after. Like now. Jimbo? Could you do it again? Sure, I suppose. Like right now? Yeah, but... Show me. Oh, Ace, I got a headache. I'll give you an aspirin. Come on, come on, prove it. Do something to my bed, for instance. If you say so. Well, go on. Just a second. It's lifting up off the floor. I can see under it. Oh, sorry, Ace. I'm pretty tired. Jimbo, listen. Could you move something small like a quarter, maybe? Oh, that's easy. Give me one, then. Here you go. Make it come up heads. Okay. Heads! <laughs> That's not hard. <laughs> How about, say, uh, a pair of dice? Smaller the easier. Here, let's give it a try. What did you get? A four and a two. Now, make it a seven. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> There's no joke. I just feel happy. What, what for? Oh, you big stupid jerk. See, four years working in this crummy joint, beating our brains out, and we could have been living like kings. We could? How? You'll see. Did they get the phone lines back up? Don't ask me. Who do you want to call? 
When I think of all the dough that we could have... Hello, kitty? Listen, baby. Hold on and listen, will you? Can you get packed and ready to go in ten minutes? Never mind, I'll explain the whole thing later. Just pack your suitcase, you hear me? I'm bringing the car over. We're taking a little trip! You going somewhere, Ace? Come on, move. We ain't got all night. We? You bet we're going to Vegas! Cigars, cigarettes. Drinks? Bring me a scotch and water. Coming right up, sir. Oh, wait. What are you two doing? We just got here, Ace. Besides, they'll probably charge you an arm and a leg. Ain't you ever been in a casino before? Drinks are on the house. No kidding? Would I kid you? Now let's get to it. Where are we going? Let me see. How about the roulette wheel? <laughs> Isn't that a little out of our league? I saw some nickel slots when we came in. Forget about it. We're going for the big money. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. A hundred bucks on number eight. Ace, that's all we've got. Shh, relax. One hundred dollars. Set your money on the table, sir. Yeah, sure. There you go. Your chips. All bets down. You got that, Jimbo, number eight? Yeah, I heard you. What is going on? Watch this. Eight. Red. Even. Oh, you see that? I told you. The gentleman wins. Oh, look at all those beautiful chips. 30-something to one. Ace, how did you do that? Question. Uh, what's the limit here? Oh, Ace. Huh? Maybe we should take it easy. Why? So we don't draw attention. Oh, yeah. Place your bets. Number, sir? Uh, not this time. We're gonna play something else. Yeah, that's it. Ah, so long, uh, and thanks. Kitty, help me with these chips. Seven craps, line away. Oh. Uh, excuse me, mind if we get in here? That'd be my guess, this table's cold as ice. It is, huh? Well, let's see if we can change that. New shooter, a dice, sir? Sure. I'll give it a shot. But you don't even know how to play craps. Quiet, kitty. Well, do you? I know plenty. You ain't seen nothing yet. New shooter coming out. Here we go. Hey, Jimbo, where are you? Right here, Ace. Hey, good. That's good. Uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, what's the matter? Uh, you need to have a bet down. Oh, yeah. Uh, kitty, give me those chips. Put them on the table right in front of me. Not all of them. Just do what I say. Line bet? Yeah, why not? Two hundred dollar limit. Uh, then spread the rest of them around. Play some numbers? Sure, I'll. And give me two fours. Hard way eight. And the six. Let me see. The four. Ten. All the hard ways. Got that, Jimbo? Yup, I got it. Then here we go. Everybody ready? Let's roll on. Scooby Dooby Doo! Eight's the point. Here's for your hard ways, sir. Uh, same bet. You got it. Let him ride. Scooby Dooby Doo. And hard ten. Another front line winner. Oh yeah, shovel him my way, boy. Just shovel him over. I don't believe it. He won again. That's 17 passes. I never saw anything like it. It's every proposition there is. Move over. I gotta get in on this. Give me double sixes this time. Sweetheart, don't you think we should quit now? Quit? What are you talking about? But your luck's bound to change. No chance. Jimbo and I got a system worked out, don't we, Jimbo? Huh? Ace. Hey, what's the horn bet? I ain't played that yet. Ace, I gotta take a break. Are you out of your mind? We're just getting started. I got up. My head's killing me. It is? I'm not kidding. Okay, Jimbo. Okay, okay. I wouldn't want you to burn out. Going to roll the dice, sir? Mm, nah, not this time. My arm's getting tired. 
We'll just cash these in. Ah, oh, did you hear that? They ought to shut down the table till he comes back. I'll change your chips up for color. You do that. Got any aspirin? Sir? For a headache? Uh, try the gift shop. Uh, hear that? Let's go. We'll cash in and then we'll get an aspirin and lie down till you feel better. Thanks, Ace. I appreciate it. Nice going, fella. Hey, yeah, don't leave yet. Hey, I made a bundle on you. Hey, when are you coming back? Ah, in a little while. Wait up for me. Will do. Hey, anything you bet, I'll bet. Me too. All right, place your bets. New good shooter coming out. Seventeen six seven eight nine two hundred twenty thousand dollars. Thanks, babe. Jimbo, help me carry it. Are you staying at the hotel, sir? Mm, maybe, maybe not. What's it to you? I was just going to suggest they have a safe in the office if you're a guest. Eh, don't worry about it. I like to keep a little petty cash on me. You know what I mean? Of course, sir. Yeah, see you touch. Wave it around like that. Not bad, huh? For starters. You did pretty good, I guess. Pretty good? We've got more money here than I've ever seen in my life. Headache go away? Not yet. Then we better do something about that. Cigars, cigarettes, chewing gum. Got any aspirin? Let me see. Bromo, candy bars. Here, aspirin in the two pack. Great. Oh, I'm afraid I can't change a bill this size. Oh. Huh. Who asked you to? Why, thank you, sir. Yeah, don't mention it. Ace, it was a $50 bill. So? Plenty more where that came from. Let's see what kind of rooms they got in this dump. Hey, Jack, shake it up over here. We ain't got all night. May I help you? I don't know, can you? We were thinking about cooling our heels for a while. You got something nice like a suite? You know, real class. Our suites run $1,400 a night. <gasps> there are some very nice motels off the strip. They might be more to your liking. We'll take the suite. I beg your pardon? The biggest one you got. That will be cash in advance? Sure. This enough? Yes, sir. Your name? Benjamin... Franklin. All three of us. Yes, Mr. Franklin. Right away. Bellboy. Ah, there you are. Hmm, depends. Who wants to know? Come on, Ace. Let's just go. I'm the manager. The pit boss told me about you. He did, huh? We'd like to be sure you're taken care of. Eh, thanks, but we just got a room. Nonsense. Those are for the regular customers. May I offer you our penthouse on the top floor, courtesy of the house? Now you're talking. As long as there's room for my friends here. Oh, plenty, I assure you. Three king-size beds, plus a sauna and dining area. I can put a car and driver at your disposal as well. I mm, already have a car. Maybe you could have somebody move it, though. It's the Chevy out front, parked in the loading zone. As you wish. I'll send up a fruit basket right away. Anything else you need, just call the concierge. Oh, Ace, should we? Don't think twice, baby. You deserve the best. Where's the elevator? I saw one in the hall. Then let's get moving. A little downtime, Jimbo, and you're going to feel like a million bucks. We all will. Guaranteed. This is more like it, huh? It's... it's beautiful. Is this all your luggage? Yeah, here you go, Junior. Go buy yourself a pair of roller skates and pick me up with some toothpaste, toothbrush, and all that jazz. This ought to cover it. Thanks. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm tired, Ace. I gotta sleep. Nuts! We're gonna go do the town, have some real fun. We just got here. Ace, I can't go on doing it. Uh, now look, don't you fold up on me. Your head'll be fine. It's cheating. Cheating's wrong, Ace. Jimbo, 
You're right. You mean it, Ace. We're gonna quit. Sure. We're gonna quit. What are you two talking about? You wouldn't understand it, baby. I mean it, Jimbo. After one more job, okay? Well... Wait, then it's all over. No more headaches. Huh? For me, just one more? Okay. One more time. Swell. You rest now. Tomorrow we'll fracture them. Come on, kitty. We're gonna tear this town apart. Ace, please. Let's go home. What? Home? What are you thinking? This is our big chance. I don't want to take it. Ace, you've been lucky. You've won enough money to last the rest of our lives. Can't you leave well enough alone? It ain't well enough for me. Don't you get it? By tomorrow, I'll have enough to buy this state. Understand? Ace Phil, USA! You're sick. <laughs> Honey, I've never been healthier in my life. In 24 hours, I'll be able to get you anything. Hey! Where are you going? Home. On the bus. Look me up when you're through playing Little Caesar. What's the matter with her? You've been ignoring her all night. Ain't very polite, Ace. Well, I was busy. A man should never be that busy. Why don't you go after her? Kitty's worth all the money in the world. Isn't she? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she is. Then go. Kitty! Kitty? Kitty! Cigars, cigarettes. Oh, hi. Something wrong? Uh, no. No, I... Nothing at all. It, it's... What's your name? Sheila. Sheila? How would you like to quit this crummy job and work for me? Doing what? Spending money. Well? Gosh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Here's a little advance. Say, uh, grand? When do I start? Right now. We'll have a ball. We'll... Uh, everything all right here? I'd like to hire your cigarette girl for the evening. That be okay? Why, uh, I... I suppose... It... Mm hmm? This help you make up your mind? Yes, yes, uh, I, I'm sure it will be. I thought so. Oh, one more thing. Who's the biggest gambler in town? Uh, hmm. Let me see, um... I mean, big. No limits. Ha <laughs> ha. I believe Mr. Nolan is visiting us this week. Big Phil? Yes. Well, you tell him to get in touch with Ace Larson tomorrow morning and bring all the lettuce he can carry, you know, greenbacks. Got it? Certainly, sir. Now let's live a little. We're gonna do the town, what'd you say? Great. Can you wait till I get dressed? Sure. Just not too much. Nice and easy does it. Just a minute. Ace, you're wanted by the... Who's calling? Mr. Nolan, I'll tell him. Ace? Hmm. Let me alone. Phone call, Ace. Mr. Nolan. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll take it in here. Uh... Phil? Good to hear from you, baby. This is Ace Larson. From where? Right here in Nevada. Now, wait a minute, Phil. That ain't the way to talk to a... All right. So you never heard of me? You will. Now, you listen to me, Buster. I got 200,000, and I'm hot for a game. Of course, if the stakes are too high for you, I can always call somebody else. That's more like it. The penthouse. Right away. Oh, and Phil, bring some friends. Ace, Mr. Nolan from Chicago. Yeah. He's a gangster, isn't he? So what? I hear he's awful mean. 
Don't worry about it. These guys got a coat of honor. They'll knock off a bank, but they don't welsh on a gambling debt. Get the door, Jimbo. Don't keep the gentleman waiting. You Larson? No, sir. My name's Cobb. Come on in, Phil. I'm Ace. Who are your friends? Let's see the stuff. Jimbo? Sure, Ace. I, I put it in the suitcase. Looks good, boss. You want I should count it? Go ahead. While you're doing that, I'm gonna order breakfast. Want some? Cup of coffee. You never gamble on a full stomach. Room service. This is Ace. Ace Larson. I want... L-A-R-S-E-N. Send up a big breakfast, the works, and some coffee. How about you boys? You want anything? They don't eat. That's it. And make it fast. Or you're out of a job. All here, boss. Hmm. Suppose we start off with, uh, ten big ones. Ten grand? What's the matter, too high for you? No, ten's fine. Yeah. First, let's take a look at your stuff. I don't play for peanut shrimp, but then you ain't gonna see none of it. Okay, I'll take your word for it. We can set up the table over here. I got some dice and everything. How about we use my dice? Be my guest. Jimbo, smooth out the tablecloth. Sure, Ace. I'm shooting for a natural. How does seven sound, Jimbo? Think I can make it? I'd say so. All right, then. scooby dooby do. And seven it is. I guess that means I win. Huh, fellas? This time. One more. Shooting for an 11 this time. Yo. 11. 11. Let's see those dice. They okay, boss? Yeah. One thing, Larson. People cheat on me once. Only once. Understand? Absolutely. Now that we got that straight, I'll let it ride. Am I covered? You're covered. Coming out for a point. Eight. How much odds you'll give me? How much you want? Say, 50 grand? 20. 20 it is. You're on. Here we go. Shooter, shooter. I'm hot today. Sometimes you just can't go wrong. Seven! Win a seven on the come out. Like I said, this is my day. How long are you going to hold those dice? I'm setting them down, but don't worry. They won't get cold. Hi. Sheila, hi. You ready to take me to Lake Mead? Who's the dame? My good luck charm. Any objections? Uh-oh. Ace, can I talk to you for a minute? Come on in, baby. Sheila, these are some buddies of mine. We're playing a little penny ante type game. Stick around. It won't take much longer. Ace, there's something I Come need. and watch. Roll em. You know, this is getting to be a drag. Let's separate the men from the boys, huh? What do you say we shoot the works? Jimbo? Ace, I dump it all out. Now, hold on. What's the matter, Nolan? I thought you were a big operator. You chicken? Hey! hey go ahead, Larson. Shoot the works. And where's the dough? My credit's good. Sure it is, Phil. Sure it is. This is the life, huh? Win a million, lose a million, just like that. Okay, I'm looking for an 11 over 7. Ace! Don't bother me. Ace, listen. I go be dooby doo, and there it is. Ha! Load up the suitcases, Jimbo. This game is over. Tough luck, trooper. Huh? Read him and weep. Snake eyes. But. Pick it all up, boys. I don't understand. You got nerve, pal. I like that. Anytime you want to play some more, just let me know. For now, I'm out of here.
What, 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 what happened? Sorry, Ace, but I was trying to tell you. I lost it. The power? I can't do it no more. Maybe I blew a fuse or something. You ain't mad at me, are you, Ace? I mean, I couldn't help it. I... <laughs> he blew a fuse! Oh, man! Some funny, Ace? Does this mean we're not going to Lake Mead? We did okay, Ace. Nice crowd for lunch. Hey, thanks for painting the sign, Jimbo. Don't mention it. Uh, these old slot machines sure are heavy. Yeah, you got your end? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, now push the dolly, I'll get the door. Uh, I guess that's it, Mr. Larson. Good riddance. It's not too late to stop them. What are you talking about? Who needs that hunk of junk anyway? You had it a long time. Too long. It's strictly for suckers. Let it rob somebody else for once. Go on, get it out of here! I can't say I'm sorry. Hey, Kitty. With that thing gone, I bet... I bet we could pull in enough every month to... To what? I mean... Uh, you know, I ain't any good at this, but you know, you, you want to get married? Well, I don't know. Jimbo, you have a quarter? Right here. Go ahead. Call it. Heads. Heads it is. All right, Mr. Larson, I'll marry you. Oh, uh, baby, you won't be sorry. But what are you standing there for, Jimbo? Get back to work. Sure thing, Ace. Sure thing. Some people possess talent, others are possessed by it. When that happens, the talent becomes a curse. Jimbo Cobb knew right from the beginning. But before his friend Ace learned that simple truth, he had to take a short trip through the Twilight Zone. Hi, this is Carl Amari, producer of the Twilight Zone radio dramas. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our official website at twilightzoneradio.com, where you'll get the latest news and information on these Twilight Zone radio dramas. Plus, at twilightzoneradio.com, you can digitally download three free episodes or any of our episodes for only $1.95 each. In this age of ever-changing technology, we've decided to make these episodes instantly available to you by making the Twilight Zone radio dramas a digital download only series. This means that this series will no longer be offered on CD. The CD collections at our website are now being offered while supplies last at buy one, get one free. So be sure to get your favorites before they're sold out. Be sure to visit us often and I'll see you in the zone. Prime Mover, starring David Eigenberg with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etchison and written for The Twilight Zone by Charles Beaumont based on a story by George Clayton Johnson. Heard in the cast were Kurt Nabig, Fernette Lebo, Alex Sopner, Joby Cerny, Jamie Barron, Doug James, Jeff Lupiton, Peggy Roeder, Michelle Graff, Tracy Hernandez, Jason Mallow, Carl Amari, Christina Verba, and Vince Amari. The producers of The Twilight Zone wish to thank CBS Enterprises and the Rod Serling Estate for making this series possible. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari for Falcon Picture. Sound design and custom Foley effects for The Twilight Zone by Cerny American creatives Bob Benson, 
Craig Lee, Michael Slabach, and Matt Sorrow. To learn more about the Twilight Zone radio dramas and to contact us, visit our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. Doug James speaking.